Hello, my name is Nancy Maxson, and I live at 630 Mountain Fields Trail in, in Nellies Ford, Virginia. I'm recording this for the Tribunal on Human Rights to be held in Charlottesville, Virginia this October 2017. As an aside, I would say that after watching the Ken Burns Vietnam series and hearing journalist Tim O'Brien talk about what the GIs carried in the war, and after seeing the disastrous toll of recent California fires, and now reading that the FERC has approved a never-before-attempted construction of a 42-inch wide pipeline along the back of our, our uh, wooded hill here and along countless neighbors' properties stretching all the way from West Virginia to North Carolina, I began to uh, to put this together and to wonder about a number of things. I wrote this piece of prose called Imperiled. How many times in your life have you looked around your house and whispered, which of these things should I take if we had to evacuate in, say, an hour, a half an hour even, or a few minutes? What would you load up your car with? What would you grab if you only had time to carry a few things out? Which would you save? Parts of your history, gifts, your mother's clock, dad's artifacts, scrapbooks, or parts of your present, practical portable items, computers, products of your productivity, your instruments, your financial identity, your concerns, your worries, We'd carry those two, and our dreams, finally, our determination, and mostly we would carry each other as we glanced around and was smelling the smoky air. Who cares why we'd need to evacuate at that point? The bureaucratic disruption of old growth forests or the casual tossing of a cigarette by a construction worker? Like war, though, the rule is the law of unintended consequences. But I will leave the heaviest burden for the members of FERC who will be forced to carry their hubris through hell. Please make our plea that this pipeline so unnecessary and so imperiling will never happen. Thank you.